Welcome back to the latest episode of the Laura and Becky show. It's four days to go until the big day. Not long. I keep forgetting <laughs> what <Christmas>. day <laughs> like we're on now. You know, normally in like the week between Christmas and New Year, you don't know what day it is. I feel like that now. Yeah. What is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday today, yeah. So confused. Yeah. We were saying yesterday, oh, by the way, hello. If you're new here, we're Laura and Becky. If you're old hats, then welcome back. Oh, yeah. And just really quickly, sponsored by Dunstan Hall Garden Centre and Bistro and Ringwood Hall Hotel and Spa. Now, um, I'm not going to lie. I don't feel Christmassy. I felt Christmas, Chris, more Christmassy last week than I do this week. Well, that's because we had snow. And it was very festive yeah. looking, wasn't it? But now it's, well, I'm looking outside. It's sunny. It's quite mild. Yeah. No snow. I think tomorrow I'm going to try and get in the Christmas spirit. I've got what, shit to do today. What are you going to do to get yourself in the know, Christmas I just, spirit? I don't know. I want to get everything done today so I can just not worry about it. Yeah. So I've got tons to do today. I keep thinking, oh, God, I just want to go and watch TV. See, I've got a few bits. I've been quite organised, although there is one thing I'm slightly worried about. Go on. Do you remember, I think it was a couple of weeks ago, I said to you, May, I was like, I have got your Christmas present sorted this year. And I was yeah. really like a bit smug about it. It's not arrived. It's not arrived. Oh, no. Those bloody postal strikes, won't it? Oh, no. That's what it will be. I've got a couple of presents that haven't arrived yet. But I've then oh. traces. But I just said to her today, look, they'll come. You're, she's not that bothered. Exactly. I yeah. am, though. I want that Christmas present. <laughs> yeah, I might get it in the new year, mate. I'm okay. not going to lie. But today, I've got a few bits to do at home, like add mini bits and like wrapping and stuff. So what we're going to do, um, obviously, I've got Lil off school. She's she's in the next room when we do the podcast. Going to get home. All the Christmas tree lights are going to be on. Going to light a fire. Nice. Put a Christmas movie on and just get really festive, festive today. Get yeah. stuff done. Yeah. Um, when are you doing your Christmas food shop? Tonight. Oh, tonight's the big night. I hate doing the Christmas food shop. Yeah. Tonight, I, I mean, I don't have to do loads because we're, we're not even here. So that's quite nice. Mm. It's not going to be that stressful. Apart from it's just going to be rammed, isn't it, of people. And I... Oh, Christmas I can't food shopping cope. people, they're just, they're awful, aren't they? Yeah, and the queues are so yeah. long when you go to the tills. I went in on Sunday, it was mental. Went to but Tesco. why was that? Because you can't buy veg a week before. It won't be fresh, I think it? people were buying like um, cheeses and crackers and like frozen party food. I was looking at what was in people's trolleys and oh. it, they were heaving, Jesus like literally Christ. overflowing. I, if you don't use Scan and Shop for your Christmas food shop, there's something wrong with you. There, I I'm, I'm just going to put it out there. I don't. That is, that is so ridiculous. Do you know what? I kind of get why you would at this time of year because looking at those queues on Sunday, Maybe they were out get, of control. Put it in your trolley. Get it out of your trolley. Put it back in your trolley. No. It's a lot, isn't it? Use the scanning shop. Just brave it. Just do it. There's a little tip for you. Do it. Um, but so obviously all my family live um, down south and I'm up here. For some reason, they all like to message me and get me to tell them what Christmas food they need, even though they're like four hours away. So are they doing the Christmas food shop? Yeah, so my brother is going tonight to do it. But yeah. get this, I had to send him a list this morning yeah. of what we needed. I had to speak to Uncle Dick yesterday just to remind him what Christmas decorations oh to put up. But yeah. to be fair though, mate, I'd rather send a list to someone than go and do it. Me too. I mean, that's you, you're on to a winner there. There is something about people in the supermarkets when they're doing the Christmas food shop. They have a look in their eye. Don't they? Uh, it's yeah, it's dangerous. And if if they if you see a trolley coming at you, it it ain't gonna swerve you. It's gonna come at you yeah. at Christmas time. They are brutal. brutal. Yeah, yeah. At so yeah, you're right. I'm quite pleased. I'm yeah, not doing you, it. You've got out of that. You you get to sit and watch a Christmas film. They have to go and do it. I don't quite know how I've managed it, but I'm here for it. Okay, Ringwood Hall Hotel and Spa still have their promo code Xmas15 if you want to book a treat for December. Yeah, also as well, because obviously Christmas is nearly here. People are thinking about New Year's Eve. They have got a stay and spa thing, right? Oof. This sounds lovely. So you can get that all relaxed and pampered for 2023. You get a bottle of fizz. You get a full day in the spa. You get afternoon tea and more fizz. You get a 25 minute treatment. You get a three course dinner and you get to stay over and have breakfast the next morning. What was not to love? I mean, yes, 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 yes. Have a look at their website. It's Ringwood Hall Hotel and Spa. <laughs> right, what's going on in the world? Um, oh, well, hang on. Oh. Before that, um, I've got a little tip for you, actually. Talking of like Christmas, New Year, because obviously, you know, we all get on the booze, don't we? Mm -hmm. We get a little bit drunk. I can't cope with hangovers. I yeah. hate 
having a hangover and they last forever. So I was on TikTok the other day. Don't know if you've seen this, right? It's a hangover hack. Okay. And I might try this because tomorrow night we are hosting yeah. our last kind of like festive party for a company, aren't we? Yeah, we've been told it's going to be, they want it the opposite of corporate. So we're like, <laughs> we're you ladies. We are the opposite of corporate is exactly what we are. Oh, we can bring that, oh, can't we? yes. Yeah. Um, also, they're all going to be trolleyed, aren't they? By the sounds of it. So it's going to be quite good fun, but we're going to have to get a bit trolleyed as Probably. well, obviously. So hangover hack crime. Apparently, if you eat cucumber before going out drinking, then when you come in and before you go to bed, eat some more cucumber, apparently there's no hangover the next day. Who's told you this? I saw it on TikTok. Right. It was a nutritionist who did there's it on no, TikTok. There's not a lot of nutrition in a cucumber, is there? Well, it's a lot of water, right. isn't it? In there? So maybe that's just, maybe it's just water, but they're, you know, saying have a cucumber. I'm going to try it, mate, tomorrow. Yeah. Do you know the best, one of the best tips is have drink then have water then drink then have water so always have a glass of water in between your drinks the simplest thing to do I always forget I always forget but yeah. that's another good tip it's just to, you'll still get as drunk but you'll just have more good water in you well it than means alcohol. you're staying hydrated yeah and alert yeah I always think a bit of tea and mama and toast when you get in you, you've got to have something to eat when you get in. You always say that. If ever on a night out or we're working, I'm like, what are you going to do now then, mate? Oh, go home, have tea and toast. I have to. I yeah. cannot go to bed hammered. I can't sleep. No. I get anxiety the next day. It's Oh, it's awful. the worst. Yeah. It is the worst. Yeah. Okay, so cute cucumber guys eat some right. cucumber nibble on that before going out uh nibble on a bit more when you get in bish bash bosh no hangover merry christmas Okay, I love your tips. They're so shit. <laughs> but listen, if I haven't got a hangover on Friday yeah. morning, mm -hmm. we'll be laughing then, eh? Yeah, true. Me. <laughs> um, so what's going on? Oh, God, this is, a, this is a bit doom and gloomy, actually. Not going to lie. Yeah. So we have got the biggest NHS walkout happening today. Mm -hmm. um, we've, been, we've been warned, I shouldn't laugh really, but not to do anything risky. Is that because it's ambulance crew today that have walked out? Oh, wait, yeah. Right, okay. I mean... The thing is, though, you never really, you don't really, you don't really ever mean to do anything risky. No, it will I just avoid be risky our things. luck if something that we that isn't risky. Oh no, don't don't say because I think it's going to happen. So like you're, you're like I don't know, maybe. Well, what's not risky? Well, earlier on, I um, had a slight headache when I woke up this morning. So I thought I was going to take a Nurofen, right, right. To, to, to stop it. I was on the mail online reading about this and I thought, no, Becky, what no. if it gets lodged and you need to go to hospital? You'll be, you'll be a goner. So I didn't take the Nurofen tablet. Right. Yeah. But then there is the thing, was, you, you've got a really bad headache. Still got a bit of a headache, yeah. And what that could happen, so you've got a really bad headache, you mm. get in your car, mm. um, your headache suddenly gets worse and you start squinting and then you can't see that a car has maybe slowed down in front of you. You then hit that car. You then need an ambulance. Oh, do you God. see what I mean? I think I'm just going to stay indoors today, mate. After this podcast, go home. No, but I'm not going out for the rest of the day. I don't think you should light a fire. <gasps> God, I'll put my Christmas tree lights on. What if they explode? Right, see? But you are going to take that risk, aren't you, Becky? They've warned you not to. <sighs> Mate, life's a risk, I isn't mean, it? You, Life is a risk. You wouldn't... <laughs> you wouldn't... I don't know, go up a ladder, up a tree with a chainsaw and think, I'm going to... I think that's what they mean. I don't think they mean don't swallow a neurofen. But still, I'm, I'm going to err on the side of caution today, all right? <laughs> I'm just going to be extra... Careful. <laughs> just talking of um, being careful and not taking risks, we've just watched the Tom Cruise video where he's thanking everyone for like watching Top Gun Maverick, which by the way, I still have I not haven't watched. seen it. And we talked about that for years, didn't I know. We? I really, really want to see it. Actually, in the new year, we'll go and see it. Um, and he just kind of like, he sat on the side of a helicopter in South Africa and then he just like, we didn't even throw himself off it. He just like lies back and then just carries on to talking whilst falling he's a nutter an absolute nutter but he does it all whilst looking so relaxed and like chatting to the camera and he's like yeah merry christmas happy new year See, guys yeah. thanks for watching top gun he's like, literally just falling, falling out of a, through the sky yeah and at one point he's like i'm running out of altitude and i'm like pull your parachute i mean he should not be doing i mean if he was in this country right, he yeah, should now not he, be no, doing that he's a risk he? he, yeah he's a big it's risk, a bloody risk. <laughs> right so mate what is it? 
Um, <laughs> so we were talking before, it's Snapchat, isn't it? Right. So literally a few days ago, uh, we're in a WhatsApp group with um, a friend of ours, Ricky, and he put a message in there. He's like, Laura, why have you joined Snapchat? And even I was like, Hey, why has she joined Snapchat? <laughs> well, for a start, I've seen a few TikToks where people like react to Snapchat filters and like my daughters are on Snapchat. So I thought, I, I literally was on the way to my in-laws and I was just on my phone. I thought, oh, I'm going to download Snapchat and see what this is all about. I am, I, I am not going to start snapping, chatting. Like <laughs> that is not what I'm going to do. But I have noticed, and we've just been talking about this, right, that a lot of um, celebrities on Instagram don't use filters. Well, it doesn't say they're using a filter. Yeah, they appear not to. Because yes. you know, like in the top and where it says your story, yeah. it will often say Healthy the name glow. of the filter. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Top model. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I was like... Oh, but they look like they're using a filter. Anyway, this morning, Chloe Kardashian has put a story on. It literally looks like she looks like a cartoon character. Well, she looks it's very such, alien-like, doesn't she? Yeah, but it doesn't say that she's using a filter. Now, I don't know I if, don't she, if she's not stupid. But no one's going to be like, God, bloody hell, she's, she's unfiltered. It, 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 no. Well, it's one of those, because you know with filters, you can get like the subtle ones. Then you get the insane ones that give you like eyelashes yeah. and like your eyes look your like alien eyes, ma- your lips are massive. Like, you know when it's a filter. Yeah. It's like, don't quite understand how or why she's doing that. It's bizarre. Now, there are some other celebrities who I'm not going to name. <laughs> I've learnt my lesson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but they are doing the same it's a more subtle filter yeah but they are not putting on there that it's a filter so we think and they do this because they go on snapchat they they film, film it on there and obviously it doesn't say the filter name and then they put it on instagram yeah. so that's how they, they get around using it some app they whether it's snapchat or not they're using some app that's got a filter on it. Do you think um, that they should be saying if they're using a filter? I mean, it is obviously quite obvious. Well, I don't think, I think Chloe Kardashian's is. Yeah. But I'm not sure about the other. Yeah. I, mean, I, I mean, we notice it, obviously, because we're a bit hyper aware of these things. But mm. I don't know if they, I don't know. I just think that these t- these celebrities especially are very like, I'm just so real. They are, they, they're. I think it's those ones who profess to be really real, really yes. honest about everything. But yeah. actually, Looking they're like shit, blah, blah, yes. blah. But actually, they're being a bit sly by putting a filter on, but not being honest about the fact that's, that there's a filter on that's there. That's my problem with it. Yeah, I yeah. don't care if someone uses a filter. Mm. I literally don't care. But you can't pretend to be this authentic, down to earth celebrity when you're using a filter and not even saying it. Yeah. Your daughter, actually, who is 17, nearly mm. 18, um, she was saying, wasn't she? Because like, we'll obviously like take some stories of us. Yeah. And she was like, mum, don't use a filter. Like nobody uses filters mm. anymore. And they've gone the other way, haven't they? That kind of age group. Like they literally put their bare faces on their bare skin, which I think is such a healthy, yeah. good thing. Yeah, they don't, they like, yeah, she hates it. I mean, yeah. so filters you just don't use. Um, they don't really- Boomerangs. Want- Boomerang, especially the Cheers ones. She's like, she hates us doing a boomerang, doesn't she? She hates, especially, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, other ones are talky stories. No, nope, don't do a talky story. But photos have come back on stories. You like to, and they're a bit candid, oh, yeah. a bit like blurry, maybe. But when you say candid, it's all like um, a part of an arm. Yes. Or like, yeah. like the shoulder. Yeah. yeah. What's the what's yeah. that all about but you know what like I say this to Grace I'm like that's fair enough that's what like your generation crack on we don't we don't have a go at you you leave us alone if I want to do a boomer of yeah. me cheers in my drink I'm going to but also if I started watching your stories and there was just like hi guys doing some Christmas shopping today with just your elbow on I'd be like hey where's the rest of her where's where's her face why is a boomerang of her walking into Primark? Yeah, it's it's actually nuts. It's nuts. Yeah. But I uh, I just I don't know. I just think it's really interesting. But also, so on Snapchat, it's not the um the nice filters. It's, Have you got a new phone cover, by the way? Yeah, it's very oh. mumsy, isn't it? Um, be honest, a little. Yeah. <laughs> Why have you got that? Where's your because other one? It's just broken. Oh. So I'm going to order another one of my other one. Nice. Um, right, Snapchat. Yeah, see, I'm not on Snapchat. 
Right, I, I, you'll be on it by the end of the day because we've been talking so about it. So we're looking at the filters. So okay. some of the filters on here are, they just smooth out your face, blah, blah, blah. But some of them mm. are like making you look old. Or, yeah. So we've just done the old one. So I'm going to put this on you. Let me see your face. Okay. Um, let's try this one on you. So age is... No, that's not the age. Oh, <laughs> what is that? It's giving me 10 chins, mate. Oh, my God. Yeah, so they're quite, some of them are quite <laughs> funny, aren't they? So this is what I like. You can, you can be a broccoli. Oh, make me a broccoli. You are a broccoli. Like, this oh, is. Can I try the monkey one? Hang oh, on. Of course Let's you can. see what I look like as a monkey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it. Mate, it's like we've just <laughs> discovered filters for the first time, the way we're going on. That is brilliant. <laughs> Hang on, let me see. Can I feel what I can look? Oh my God. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> oh, I love um, it. Right, how do, what, what do I do now? Let's decorate oh your God. snap, save, save oh, to see. memory. We haven't okay. got a clue what we're doing on Snapchat. Um, what about the nice ones that people use? Oh, oh look yeah. at my lips. My, I look like a cartoon character. I'm going to um, go back this way. What's this one? Oh, see, this is a light filter. This smooths me out and makes me makes me look very young, mate. <laughs> I'm here for this. <laughs> yeah. So I think what people are doing are filming like this and yeah. then saving it and adding it to their Instagram. Well, why don't we test it out today? Okay. So we'll get a little one on there, then pop it onto Insta and see if that comes across as the same thing. Let's do that, mm -hmm. shall we? So Dunstan Hall, um, Garden Centre and Bistro, just seen a little post they've put on Instagram, actually. Um, they're doing, if you need like a last minute little nice little Christmas gift or a stocking filler, they're doing Bistro gift cards. Oh, and the Bistro's good. The brownies in that Bistro. So good. It'd be a great gift for your mum, actually, mm. that wouldn't it? Take her along there in the New Year because it's so nice in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a look at it on um, Insta. They've got their own Insta account, haven't they? Mm -hmm. It's Dunstan Hall Bistro. Garden Centre. Oh, sorry, yeah. No, Bistro. <laughs> I get confused. <laughs> Right, okay. We are doubling up our shows today. We've got another podcast to record after this, haven't we? Look at your face. Why are you doing like that? I'd completely forgotten. I was actually like, yeah, we're done. That's I it. thought you were like, don't tell them. Oh, no, no, no. I'd completely forgotten. Mate, what we're we going to talk one. about in another one? We've got Steph to talk about. Yes. That's um, about it. That's so, it. Steph. Yep. That, so, tomorrow's it's gonna episode is going to be banging. <laughs> Make sure you listen. <laughs> right, you have a nice day. You have Wrapping. a nice day. And see we're you tomorrow. We're going to stay here. Yeah. <laughs>